This is Warth. Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create that Pac Man asteroid. You know, those old 80 games where when the character goes off one side of the screen, he ends up on the other, or the spaceship ends up on the other, knowing that spaceships don't really have a gender, as far as I know. I've never been with one. But anyway, this is pretty simple, not that much coding to create a really cool effect. It's only two if statements. Amazing, right? Well, let's look at the coding. Uh, right now, uh, this is the code from the last tutorial. If you're confused by any of this, don't know how to make your character move and how to animate it, go to my previous tutorial and you'll learn exactly how to do that. Right now, let's type those if statements to create that boundary, that asteroid effect, that Pac-Man effect, that you've seen just now. The first thing we have to do is write an if statement which which finds out whether or not the hero is on or off the stage. So if hero dot x is greater than 550 curly brace close curly brace. Now why 550? Well 550 is the size of my stage. Um, by default, Flash does do 550, but if you change the size of your stage, you have to use those numbers. Or if you don't want to use those numbers, then you can create a variable, var, call it stage width, because that's exactly what it is. And I would use a, a u integer, and I would assign it to stage dot stage width. And that will give us the stage width really easily. And I could just put SW in here instead. Well, that's, you know, if you want to use it, you might, I might end up using stage width again. So maybe I might just keep it there. So that's the stage width. Now this if statement is saying, if my hero goes beyond the stage width, then I want you to execute the code within the middle or within the braces. Let's copy this because we're going to use it again for the other side of the stage where we're saying hero is less than zero and if you don't know this by now if the hero goes off all the way to the left it's going to start going in the negative numbers so we're seeing if the hero is gone all the way off so now we have the two code set up now we have to reposition the hero to the other side of the stage when he goes off whatever end. So let's look at that. So what we could type is hero dot x is equal to well one. What this will do is reposition the hero to the first pixel of the stage. Just copy that, paste something below, and I want to go to the stage with minus one which is for me equivalent to 549 and why do I subtract one from the stage well the reason why I do that is because I don't want it to go exactly on the stage width and I don't want it to begin exactly at zero because we don't want to create this loop since we're using zero and the 550 as our testing points we don't want to put our hero back on testing points which will cause a loop. So let's say I put my hero on zero, reassigned it after he goes off the stage width. Then it would say, hey, you somewhere around zero. And you know, you don't want this loop to continue. So I would say just go off by one, which will save you a ton of problems. Now we can test our movie. Now our hero, when it goes off stage, he ends up on the other side this is quite amazing and quite easy to do so that's all it took thanks for watching this on enter flash tutorial if you like my tutorials make sure you subscribe rate comment also go to my website it's new and improved just fix it up on enter flash.blogspot.com click on an attitude to show your support and also you can get all these cool tutorials that's a lot of tutorials. And my newer tutorials have um, the FLA with them. So 
click on an ad, it'll make me glad. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash.